G'day guys, congratulations on the purchase of your new PMX hard floor camper trailer. This video we're going to run through setup, maintenance and a few tips just to help you to get the best life out of your camper trailer. Now it's a good bet if you're watching this video now you'd be at home so the first thing that you need to do is set your camper trailer up and make sure you thoroughly soak the tent. That way all the fibres in the tent are going to swell up and that'll totally waterproof your camper trailer. We're going to run through a few things before we set up. Now firstly make sure your drawbar end which is the front of your camper trailer is facing into the wind. Secondly make sure there's no overhanging branches that might fall on your camper trailer. Now you're not always going to find level ground. There are four stabilizers on this camper trailer, one in each corner which you can use to level up your camper trailer. But this ground we're on at the moment is slightly undulating. So all I've done is dug a hole underneath this tyre and it's got our level correct. Now I'm going to run through how to set up your stabilizers. You basically pull this blue pin, the leg will drop and click into place. Then you grab your wheel brace. And all you do is lower it down until it takes the weight. Beautiful. Okay, we're now going to flip the lid. It's an easy process. There's a few things we need to do. Firstly, there's four of these clips. There's two on either side, so we need to make sure they're unclipped. We also need to make sure that we've undone our strap a couple of metres because we're going to flip the lid up so it's halfway. And then we're going to jump on the wheel and wind it the rest of the way down. Once you've got your hard floor out, you'll find in your pole bag four of these cupped poles and they're extendable. You need to put those in each corner of the camper trailer. This has taken me all of five minutes to get this far and I tell you it's great for the overnight setup. Okay, so we're going to set up our awning now. I like to make sure that all of my poles are spread out to where they've got to go so that they're in their place. Another tip as well, I like to bang a piece of tube into the ground. They're about 200 mils long. And then that way I can simply slot my pole in there. I won't have to hold it. So it makes life a lot easier. So at this stage, you'll need to make sure that your middle pole is lowered down as far as it'll go. Up the top under this Velcro tab you'll find an eyelet and in your pole kit you'll find three of these bent hook poles. They simply just sit up into the eyelet. Here's a great little tip. Whenever we're using these adjustable poles you'll have a tightener. Make sure that tightener is always facing down and not upwards rubbing on your canvas. We're going to start putting our walls up now, but I'm going to start off with the wheel arch cover. And this just simply velcros onto the side.
good idea at this stage to go around and bang all your pegs in and it's important to bang all of them in. Next thing we need to do is attach all of our guy ropes. They simply go on top of the pin. When you're putting your peg in the ground, you have to bang it in on an angle because that will help with the stability of the peg in the ground so it doesn't rip out. Be very careful of your fingers and then just adjust to take the weight. When you're putting the walls up, on each of the corners, this corner and the next corner, you'll find an internal zip. So make sure you also zip those up. And a good tip when you're doing your doors up, it's a good idea to make sure your zips finish up at the top because that'll stop any snakes and creepy crawlies getting in through the bottom. In your pole kit, you'll find two of these adjustable poles with the cups in them. There are ceiling spaces. So to put these in, all we do is simply go onto your centre roof pole, click it in the top, making sure your tightness is facing down, it's not rubbing on the canvas. Click in, adjust and tighten. Before you pack your camper trailer away, it's very important to make sure that your four corner spacer poles are taken out and also all your internal poles, make sure they're lowered. We've got a hooked our hook up to the front, we're just gonna wind it down now. Okay, so when we get to this stage, it's very important that we tuck all of our fabric into the camper trailer. We're going to shut it down. Starting off with the end clip, we'll clip that on first. And if you can't push down on it, that means there's something on the other side sticking out. I've already checked mine, so I know it's okay. So we do the same with the other two on the other side. And then we're going to lift up our stabilizers and we're going to hook up. Righto guys, a couple of tips for hooking up. Make sure your hitch is secure. Make sure your power's plugged in with your chains. It's a good idea to cross them like that. So if anything fails in the hitch, it's gonna catch in the chains. Make sure your handbrake's off. Make sure your jockey wheel's up. And I actually like to put a strap on my jockey wheel because it sort of saves the life of the wheel a bit more. And very importantly, make sure all your stabilizers are up and locked into position. Happy camping. G'day guys, we're just back from our camping trip. Now's a perfect opportunity to give your camper trailer a thorough clean. Make sure you check all your wheel nuts, suspension nuts and everything else just to make sure nothing's rattled loose. And another good tip as well, if you've been camping and it's been raining or you're back and you're just cleaning your tent, do not pack it wet because it's gonna get moldy. It's okay if you're gonna pack it away wet for say a day but nothing more than that. So um, we hope you enjoy your camping life and we hope to see you out on the road sometime.